Hello, I'm Chris. And I'm Tova. And welcome back to Chris and Tova's Amazing Adventures. Today we are camping in Jasper National Park. Uh, I can't pronounce the name of this place. Wapi... Wapiti. Wapiti. Um, Wapiti Campground. It's really great. We've got a fire going. Um, scenery, as you can see, the mountains behind us. Then we have mountains over to our left and to our front. Like Jasper National Park is, is quite amazing. It's a really great place to camp. Yeah, the Canadian Rockies are so beautiful and in Jasper, just having the mountains surround you, so peaceful. Um, we, we really love Jasper. Jasper is Jasper's like our favorite mountain area. Yeah, and it's not too far from our house. I think we're about seven hours from our, from our house to here. So it's not too bad of a drive. So seven hours from our house uh, makes a great getaway for a nice long weekend. We'll tell you a little bit about our campsite. Uh, we paid about $20 a night to enter into Jasper National Park. And we paid about another $20 a night for our campground. So we're looking at about $40 a night. Or you can buy the annual pass. I believe it's 120 but check the website for whatever the current price is. But a twenty dollars for a whole year of access is pretty good deal. We paid 80. So the campsite comes with uh, wood. You can scavenge wood from all around. Uh, lots of trees have been you know, cut or uh, have fallen and they've chopped them up into good sized logs. So you can just throw those on the, on the fire. And they also get uh, truckloads of chopped wood. Also on this campground, they have uh, showers and Recycling. They do have electricity as well. So if you wanted to pay for a plug in site, like if you have an RV or whatever, but we don't. We just have our tent, so we, we didn't need the power. So Chris is making us some campfire coffee this morning. So we're boiling water on the stove, and then we have a French press that we like to use when we're camping or when we're out on the boat and we really like to have coffee so we've brought in two different kinds of coffee three different kinds of coffee creamer so it's you know a little bit of a barista and now we wait and we also have our Tim Hortons cups because you know we're Canadian what are you making? Uh, we're doing up some brunch, just a little uh, egg and sausage wrap on our campfire stove. And then we've also got some cheese and we'll put some refried beans on it as well. Yum. Today we are making skillet pizza. And if you're looking to come to Jasper and explore the Rocky Mountains, camping is a great way. It's super affordable. And then there's lots of places you can go from here, drive down the Icefield Parkway, see the glacier, do some hiking, go into town. Like there's, there's lots of places that you can explore within Jasper National Park for that day pass or several day pass. We've been up and down the Icefield Parkway a few times. Uh, most of the time it's been on a motorbike. Uh, we've been through an ice storm or freezing rain. We've been through a freezing rainstorm while on the motorbike and had to stop at uh, what was the halfway point. Canmore? Was it Canmore? I think that's where we originally stopped. And then... So we had to stop at a Canmore, uh, warm our hands up, go underneath the, the blow dryer, heat our hands back up and have a coffee at a Tim Hortons. And then spend an hour there just kind of hanging out and then carried on down the road to make it to our our hotel yeah yeah it was a chilly chilly little bit but then driving from Canmore all the way to Jasper down the Icefield Parkway it ended up being really nice uh, once the sun came out and we warmed up a little bit but yeah, yeah that the Icefield Parkway if you've never driven it it's a must-see whether you're coming to Jasper or Banff or Canmore um, they're spread out along 
along that stretch. Uh, so if you haven't seen any of those places, I, we would recommend all three, Canmore, Jamf, Canmore, Banff, and Jasper. Um, but Jasper is definitely our favorite. Yeah. And it really depends what you're looking for. Jasper, like the town of Jasper itself, is more of a little kind of quiet little mountain town. There's lots of cute little shops and restaurants and things like that, but it's definitely much more rustic than what you would see in Canmore and Banff. Um, just because they're a little bit closer to Calgary, Canmore and Banff have gotten quite commercialized. There's lots of big giant condos and that sort of thing where you don't have that in Jasper. So the mountain behind us is Whistler Mountain. Uh, we hiked it about five years ago and it's an amazing hike. It's got a gondola going up to the top for the, outlook, for the, the lookout and it's a beautiful hike and it's a beautiful gondola up or down. I don't remember the, what the price was uh, to take the gondola, but it wasn't very much. And, and lots of people do gondola up and gondola down, but there's a really nice hike. It's uh, it, it is a strenuous hike. It's not it's not an easy hike. It's ten. It's a medium. Or... To, it's a medium to difficult to light difficult. Yeah. Yeah. I think on the hiking listing in the Jasper area, it's ranked as difficult. I don't know. Take that with a grain of salt. We didn't find it extremely difficult, but it's. It's not just a walk in the park. Uh, it is about 10 kilometers to get to the top of the gondola. And then from where the gondola would actually drop you off, there's another like two or three kilometers that you can walk out mm. a little further. Um, so what we did is we hiked up and then we took the gondola down. Yep. If you are hiking in Jasper or, or any mountain area, definitely make sure that you have a backpack with you. You have some water, food, warm clothing, um, flashlights and make sure that you don't head out on the trail too late because the weather is always unpredictable in the mountains you never know what you're gonna get and just in case you know you don't want to be stuck up on a mountain um, when it's getting dark especially if you're ill prepared so always kind of having those emergency supplies just in case and make sure that you leave early enough you know how long the hike's gonna take to get up and back so that you should be well off the mountain before dark and definitely recommend a good pair of hiking shoes. And on this trip, we brought both our dogs, Tigger and Penelope. They, they love the camping trip, the camping experience. Tigger pretty much sleeps in the car all day. He doesn't like to leave the car during the day. He comes out, has some water, goes back in, comes back out, goes for a pee, goes back into the car. It's just what Tigger does. Penelope. She likes to hang out with Tigger or hang out with us. So she kind of jumps in between. She'll spend a little bit of time with Tigger and then a little bit of time with us. But at night, we have convinced them to join us in our tent and they love it. They have like a little spot along the side of our tent for them to sleep on, which they sometimes sleep on, but most of the time they just sleep on top of us <laughs> or under the covers, but mostly on top of us. Those puppy snuggles were great for the cool nights. Yeah, yes, dipping down to zero to just a few degrees below zero uh, in the evenings. But during the day, it comes up to 15 or 18. So the temperatures do vary. When the sun comes out, it's a gorgeous day. And late at night, uh, we have the campfire, plenty of wood to keep us nice and warm and entertained. And the sky here is amazing at night. Like, if you've never been to the mountains before, the star watching is spectacular. It's so clear, there's so many stars, like more stars than you've probably ever seen before, especially if you're someone who lives in the city. You don't realize how much like the city smog and everything is clouding the, the stars and you're not seeing as many. Uh, when you get out into the open mountain air, it's, it's amazing. And along the back of the property is a uh, fast moving river. It's beautiful blue waters. Uh, there's a few spots, trails you can hike down to get to the water itself. We're here today on a hike with our dog Penelope along a 
trail in Jasper National Park that's just taking us right along the river. It's so beautiful. While we were hiking along that river path the other day, there were a couple of whitewater rafting boats that came by. There was one gentleman on a stand-up paddleboard, which is very ambitious because that water is very fast moving, um, but beautiful glacier water. If you've not seen the, the blue-green water um, from the mountains, it's, oh, you can just watch it forever. Thanks so much for joining us here in the beautiful mountains of Jasper, Alberta, Canada. If you liked the video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to our channel, and we'd love to hear your comments. If you've been here, you've been in the area, or if you've been to some other great campsite that maybe we should check out, let us know in the comments. I'm Chris. And I'm Tova. And hope to see you on our next adventure. <laughs>